Hey guys, so excited. Week one is in the books and it was quite a week. Uh, man, some really big upsets, huge wins. I was really, really shocked with everything that went down this week. Uh, I wanted to touch on a couple of quick things. First, guys, I got to apologize. I really screwed up on the scoring for the quarterbacks this week. Luckily, it was fixed this morning. I went in there, got it all dialed in. You might have noticed some issues last night as I was playing around with it. I apologize for any panicking or heart attacks you guys might have had as a result, but uh, it's all dialed in now. It's ready to go. Uh, change the quarterback yardage to be uh, 0.04 points for every yard. That ends up equaling out to one point for every 25 yards. So, uh, you, you know, you might have noticed, you know, unfortunately your quarterback did not score 60-something points. Instead, they might have scored, you know, 30, 40-something points. Uh, but some great games this week. Uh, a couple of things to point out. Man, huge, huge game from the newbie. Check Casher coming in, just destroying a veteran in Cuddy Shark. I was just blown away. Almost 100 points he won by. That blew me away. Um, led by his, his big arm quarterback, Andrew Luck. Uh, Spencer Ware coming out of nowhere as a backup, just destroying it. Uh, that was really, really awesome. Um, unfortunately for Cuddy, his number one pick, Des Bryant, just did not pan out. Uh, it's one of the many draft busts that we saw this week. Uh, the good news is, hopefully the good news is, Cuddy's bench scored more than his starters. So that could be promising, maybe? I don't know. Maybe he's got some potential there to work with. We'll see. Um, another big, big game this week. Uh, the the Horn Dog losing big to the Mad Dog. The, the old former champion, Anthony. Uh, gosh, man, just killing it with Drew Brees scoring big on his team. Uh, Goskowski and Fitzgerald. The old man Fitzgerald. Don't call me retired Fitzgerald coming out with two touchdowns and 80 yards. That was big. Um, again, bad news for the first rounder picks. Horn Dogs just... Big letdown with Todd Gurley, only scoring 4.2 points. Um, some of the big names from this week, um, Melvin Gordon, who was sitting on the bench, scoring almost 20 points. Uh, Willie Sneed also sitting on the bench with 24 points. Theo Riddick sitting on the bench with 24 points. Uh, so definitely some potential there for these guys. Uh, big busts were Russell Wilson scoring less than 17 points. Unfortunately, him and Des Bryant were both on Cuddy Shark, so he was let down in a big way. Um, you know, Don't Panic said, no worries that AP only scored him three points because he still kicked my ass. Uh, man, there were just some big things. So how did the first round go, right? So you do all this research and all this prep for the first round of the draft. How did we do? Well, only three of the 12 first rounders met or exceeded their projections. So that not, does not bode well for, for week one. In fact, two of them didn't even play. Jamal Charles, Le'Veon Bell, both first rounders in our draft, and neither one of them even played. So uh, that's unfortunate for, for us. But week two is just around the corner. Make sure you get those free agent bids in, and uh, we will... See how everything shakes out there. Week two, I set it up specifically. This is rivalry week. Rivalry week, gentlemen. So let's see who we have going up against who. Um, if I can figure out where the heck our schedule is in this thing. thing. All right, here we go. Week two, we have... There it is. So we've got the new commish against the old commish. Higher power going up against horn dogs. We've got the two newbies, check cashiers, and the walking Dez going head to head. We've got Cuddy Shark and Feeling Giddy, both veterans, both two time champions. Big matchup there. We've got another father son combo in Don't Panic against Habanos. We've got the sibling rivalry of Chico's Bail Bonds, that's Kevin, against his brother Jeff, Show Me Your Fits. And then we've got the Mad Dogs against Tons of Anarchy. 
going to be a good week, the rivalry week, going cross division and all that kind of fun stuff. So make sure you guys get your free agent bids in this week. Remember, you can do a zero bid. If you want to do a zero bid, go ahead and do a zero bid. That way it doesn't come out of your budget, especially if it's later on in the week. You don't think anyone's going to be bidding for those guys. Um, Saturday night should be the last time that the free agent um, bidding gets processed before Sunday's games. And uh, if you have any questions, please give me a call. Let me know. Shoot me an email. Um, if the free agent acquisition thing is not quite dialed in, I can help with that. Uh, for everyone else, good luck. Get your lineups in. Thursday night's game coming up. Talk to you guys later.